Hello everybody and welcome to Portal Wells Tutorials. I'm Jake and let's talk about locks. There are two different types of locks. There are small locks, medium locks and large locks, which is one. And there are world locks. So first and foremost, let's go to the shop, item packs and buy ourselves all the logs that we need. Uh, small lock, thank you, 100 gems. That locks 3x3 three three area, thank you. Now close, a medium lock locks down 7x7 seven seven area, and large lock locks down 11x11 11 11 area. And as the last one, we have the world lock that locks down the whole world. Thank you. Uh, now what we need to do is actually search for a place where I can show you guys how these locks actually work. Well, I think this works well. So first, let's go with a small lock and explain some stuff. So a small lock, you can see the green area. Let's take the wrench tool and actually look at the lock menu. We have edit rights, closed only you can build and do not ignore empty area. Let's hit that ignore empty area on, accept, and as you can see, the block to the locks left was the only block that was locked. This is because it ignores all the empty area around it and just takes the one that it is connected to and all the blocks that is connected to it. Now we're gonna place one block right on top of it and do that again and accept. And now it blocks that one as well. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the block on the right. And here we go. Every time you do this, you need to reset the lock. So put it off, click accept, and then put it on once again. Now let's do the same thing with medium lock. So medium lock works exactly the same way as a small lock, except it locks a bigger area. And this time it was 7x7s seven seven, or 49 blocks. Let's hit ignore empty area, and as you can see, it starts building the area to the left, and then it expands until it has locked 49 blocks in total. Now let me show you guys the last one of these three locks, the large lock, and it works exactly the same way. So we place it down, we take the wrench tool, as you can see it is a little bit larger area, so it's 11 by 11, so 101. 121 blocks and hit ignore empty area and here we go it has locked a pretty huge area but the biggest one of them all is the world lock and it works a bit differently instead of just locking down a certain number of blocks it locks everything in your world and let's go through the edit right section in here as you can see uh, I have four guys that I've given access and rights to edit this world. When you have somebody in your world, they pop up on this list and you can just tap and give them the rights. In this case, I'm going to remove Temu's rights and show you that now Temu has been completely taken off the list because he isn't currently in this world that I'm in. One of the biggest features of the world lock is to enable you to trade your world with another player. Here, if we tap the key right now, it opens the window Suggest Trade With. Uh, when you have somebody in your world, their name will pop up in this, and of course I don't have anybody right now in my world, so it is empty, but it gives you the possibility to trade the world with somebody that you want to sell it to. And of course open the world so that anybody can build, or for example, you can pay somebody to, uh, I don't know, empty the world for yourself. So, for example, you can concentrate on building and designing your own world. Oh, and I almost forgot. When you see that area around a lock as red, it means that you just don't have the rights to actually edit the area. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And once again, if you have any questions in this subject, put them to the comments below and I will read them and help you guys out. It was Jake here with the Portal Wells tutorials and I see you in the next video.